What is going on guys and girls? How doing to that single role play here once again? Today I want to show you guys the annual uh, patch notes done right document which I do every leak when the patch notes are there. This is practically a formatted patch notes in a way easier way, uh, e way easier mm, uh, visually to um, understand what's the, the boss, what are the nerves, especially if you don't have a lot of experience in the game and you were playing for a league or two, you will have a hard time understanding what are the changes and what does the patch uh, dramatically shift in the meta or buffs of the nerves or the important changes within the game. So here it is. I also mark some things here, as you can see, which uh, the yellow are the new or reworks. Red is the nerfs, green is the buffs, and purple is kind of a giant, and I would say emphasizing buff. Overall, uh, the whole league is about reworking ball skills, adding some uh, new ball skills, as well as introducing completely new Atlas system with completely revamped things like the watchtowns, new bosses, and uh, the metamorph uh, league on top of the Conquerors of the Atlas. Conquerors of the Atlas is the expansion uh, and I think it will be the last expansion before Path of Exile 2 starts. So we will stick with this Conquerors of the Atlas for a while. For the entire year, I'm most likely sure about this. And Metamorph League is the actual league which lost at least three uh, months within the ex big, big expansion. So Metamorph League is about the combining different boss parts into fusing even stronger bosses. It's mostly like the bossing league. So what this patch is about is, like I said, about the changes to the bow skills as well as to nerfing some minion skills like like zombies and some minion passive, lowering their speed because they were incredibly fast in the previous patch, as well as uh, removing some um, veiled and cheaper elder modifiers from the craftable options like the maim, uh, fortify, uh, completely reducing fortify effectiveness by making it a... Uh, Additive multiplier. Uh, previously, it was like completely separate thing, reducing all your damage, and now it's a, an, an additive multiplier towards the other sources of the same reduction. So it's way less effective now, making it harder to delve for the most people, and making it harder to sustain damage because people ex uh, exploited fortify by buying expensive little prior jewels uh, and staking like up to 100% damage reduction, which was absolutely ridiculous. Another nerf to talk about is the nerf to the uh, most leveling gems, like the Orb of Storms, Smoke Mine, and Lightning Spire, which were over-abused by the speedrunners, and thanks to the speedrunners, guys killing Kitava in uh, two hours, we have the nerfs to these uh, gems as well. So overall, these are all things that happen within the patch, but uh, right now I'll go into the detail one by one. Before we go further into the video, I would like to stop for a second and thank my Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers. You guys are making a huge impact on my life and allow me to get going and continue creating content for all of you. Thank you so much. If you want to make it into the list and immortalize yourself on the internet, join Patreon and get sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage of my work. I'm always looking for feedback on my content, guys, in order to improve. So make sure you always leave comment, like or dislike. Your reaction is very important. And remember, you, yes, you are making a difference. So what's the league is about in general? The league is about cutting pieces of your monsters and forests and bosses and transfusing them within these uh, uh, Tain Octavius NPC which allows us to get even more stronger fused bosses together uh, and uh, as a result of this boss encounter we get the special type of currency called the Catalyst which is available only by creating and defeating this powerful new force. Catalyst can be used to increase the quality of your rings, belts and amulets in the specific ways enhancing certain types of modifiers. So basically uh, Catalyst is the currency that increases the quality of everything on your rings and amulets, including the unique ones as well. This is pretty OP, considering that you can also use it on the Astromantis, for example. 
as for the new uh, gems, there are plenty of new uh, layers of gems called the ballistas, for example. Uh, the artillery and shrapnel ballista and snaring arrow. Greater volley support, arrow novel support. Barrage has been made into the support as well. There's also new currencies called the exalted orbs uh, with crusader, hunted, redeemer and forward variations. I don't know, I'm pretty sure they will be super rare, but uh, these currencies will add an additional modifier to rare item from an associated pool of the influence modifier. So I'm pretty sure they will be insanely rare. Do not expect them to be like dropping like nothing. Outside of the um, new Exalted Orb, there's also a new orb called the Orb of the Awakening. This thing can be used to transfer some sheep or elder mods to the normal, I think, generic rings. Uh, saving some of the original mods as a process. I don't know how exactly will work, we will see, but it looks like a bit of a synthesizing in my opinion. And how common will this Orb of the Awakening will be? No fucking idea for now. There will also be 60 new unique items. There's 35 Awakened Support Gems, which is basically just a power creep version of the uh, normal gems. And there's also a cool feature that is coming, which you can upload filter to the website directly. Uh, and you can play Path of Exile with your loot filter from practically any uh, place, cafe, vacation, whatever, guys. Doesn't matter. You don't need to carry your loot filter with you or download it from some website and then upload somewhere to your Path of Exile folder. You can just upload it to the website and forget about it. Range the Tech Totems has been renamed to Ballistas. The Atlas of Worlds has been completely reworked. It's now start in the center. And then there is a thing called Watchstones, which you can get by defeating the bosses. By socketing the Watchstones in the Atlas, you can increase the uh, tiers of the maps around uh, from the white to the red. And practically it means that any map in the, the game can be turned into a rare, uh, into red, sorry. Including the unique maps as well, which is pretty fucking sick. There is no shape, shape or elder ping pong anymore, they are gone. And uh, practically the only way to get the shape or elder mods, I think, is through the scarabs as well as through the uh, specific Zana missions. Outside from that, uh, I think there's no other way you can get there. There's also specific elder and shaper fragments, as well as I know that there will be also the uh, elder bosses fragments, so it will be quite complicated to get to the uber elder, this is for sure. Blight is added to the core as well, guys, so 10% chance to get Blight, and uh, each Blight will be guaranteed a ward with one oil or one Blight map, which is great. It should have already been done exactly on Blight, but somehow they didn't do it, all right? Uh, now to the character balance, and this is a pretty big change. Fortified damage reduction is now multiplicated with other similar effects. This is pretty big change, making Fortify way less effective than it is right now because Fortify has really got like, extended out uh, separately like a big uh, damage um, reduction multiplier, and now it's additive with the other sources of damage reduction, making it way less effective. It happened because people bought this little pride to stack like. 100% damage reduction, making them really invincible for delving and deeper encounters and practically on call within the game. And I, I saw that coming, guys. I saw that coming. It's pretty unfortunate. 45 got hit so hard. Uh, to the good things is the shock and chill and all kind of ailment effectiveness has also been increased. And shock minimum shock is now 5%. Of, uh, Minimum shock is now 5%, increasing damage by 5%, which is pretty good. Uh, at the same time. Chill as well as increases this fantastic for the vortex spells, for example, uh, using the hypothermia, whatever. Arctic breath also fantastic. Shocking builds like the lightning arrow shock now will be also fantastically buffed in my opinion. Uh, the default magnitude of shock without a uh, damage, such as skitter bots, is now 15% from 20. So this also um, this is actually a nerf. Uh, Skill Rewalk Shrapnel Shot now fires two additional arrows. Overall, like most of the bow skill gems have been just reworked dramatically. That is a very extensive thing where you can read it if you wish. Overall, I would say that I'm mostly personally hyped about Explosive Arrow and uh, the um, Burning Arrow because Burning Arrow is just nothing but the buff. But Explosive Arrow, I think it's like mechanically changed a little bit. So I want to try it out, both of them. Ballista Totem Skills. 
uh, now placing in melee range. And uh, another thing that want to mention about is the arc buff. Arc gets a buff. Uh, it gets his range for chains to 35 units up from 25. And it's pretty close to 50 that originally it was. So it's getting closer to this. And I'll point where it's been for quite a while. And after the nerf it was once again in dumpster. So... The Arc Trap, I will definitely recommend this build for one of the league starters. I think it's absolutely amazing. Alright, uh, moving on to the Blast Train. Blast Train is another big change. I can't wait to try it out. Acoustic Carol, a little buff. Elemental Hit, a little nerf. I shot buffs across the board. Absolutely unexpected, to be honest, because I shot is already pretty decent. Icicle Mine got hit, nerfed. Uh, it definitely was a very strong skill, but not that crazy in my opinion. So, yeah, it was just very popular. That's why they nerfed it. Lightning Arrow got a buff, and god damn it, guys, it actually it does interesting numbers and path of building now. My Lightning Arrow Barrage build went from like 800 or 900 to over a million and a hundred K. Uh, definitely, I could feel the, the buff and numbers to this. Lightning Spy Trap has been nerfed thanks to the speedrunners as well as with the Orb of Storms. Molten Strike just a little bit of a buff there. Absolutely little. Who fucking cares? It's dead anyway. Uh, punishment. 20% reduced physical damage taken uh, on the monsters like a curse. And uh, it's a pretty big thing uh, considering this is a new, totally new story because the monsters get armor now and they all have like physical uh, re they take like last physical damage taken and overall physical builds, especially the ball builds, will suck a dick now, in my opinion. So this punishment is actually to be considered right now because, you know, 20% uh, is more than you can get on the tree on most nodes. Rain of Arrows, just a little buff. Race Spectres, nerf. You can only get a fourth, uh, like, third Spectre, right, at level 20 at 5 now. It's uh, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not dead. Don't say the Spectres are dead, guys. 25, how, how you can get 25? Easy peasy now. First of all, uh, the boots, one Spectre, right? Uh, then two extra on the Ascendancy, that's 20. 21 gem, one on boots, 22. Two more uh, on the Ascendancy, 24. And then one more on the chest, right? On the chest. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. You get 25. Easy peasy, guys. No big problem here. Ray Zombie. Now, uh, this is probably the biggest nerf in the whole patch. Uh, zombies has increased uh, cooldown now to the slam, as well as the reduced damage, as well as reduced life. Overall, I'm pretty curious uh, what zombies will even do now. Because can it survive like the endgame content now, considering the nerf to the life i don't really care about the damage the damage like is more than enough but the life i do worry about the life of zombies because you know they were pretty tanky in the previous patch but now i'm not so sure scourge arrow nerf but they got added chaos damage which is once again a bit of a strange thing so not sure if the base damage goes lower but added chaos goes up not sure about this one guys time will tell smoke my nerf thanks to the speedrunners Siege Ballista nerfed, but it gets plus 2 to maximum number of summon totems at all gym levels, so it's a nerf and a buff. Nerf to the base damage, nerf to attack speed, but it gets more totems on top. Uh, split arrow a little buff. Soul Rend, this is a pretty massive buff for the Soul Rend, to be honest, because, you know, 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 is like 50% more uh, moderation, and uh, the only reason why I hate it Sol Ren is absolutely ridiculously low, low duration. It means you need to spam sp Sol Ren. Literally, you just need to spam sp Sol Ren like crazy to actually do some damage. Uh, with the Trickster, this is the only way you can possible is a Trickster. And now the duration got a little bit higher. With some investment to the tree, like to, 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 to the dot duration, it's possible to make Sol Ren a somewhat viable skill, I guess. To another shot got a little... Uh, change there to decaying projectile. Toxic rain got a little change there. The, the lower base damage got buffed, but the higher tier didn't really change. Volatile dead now has a limit of 60 orbs, making it more of a capped, I would say, amount, just as it happened with the Indigon. Range attack totem support has been 
rename to the ballistism support. Uh, the less damage is more, and the attack speed is shit. But we get plus two of this somewhat ballistic totems now, which is also pretty insane. I would say the the amount of totems that you can get is more, but they are weak dick. Uh, feeding frenzy, another big nerf. Guys, big nerf. So the increased attack speed has been uh, from 15 to 10. It went down. And the more damage multiplier went from 15 to 5%, which is absolute shit. Like 10% less damage on the feeding frenzy, making it now a very questionable choice uh, for your zombies, skeletons, or whatever you're gonna use, to be honest. So now it's a matter of discussion and path of buildings. Fortify, like I said. Not only the fortified cell, but the support also changes because it is now multiplicative with another with other sources of damage reduction. Impale uh, now grants a physical damage reduction against impale hits at all gym levels. A lot of complicated shit, but it uh, will help you towards uh, going through the armor because you know all the mobs and bosses will become pretty much armored at this point. Inspiration got a nerf, I don't know why honestly, because it's not really worth it nerfing this. It's not very really the most popular support. LMP got buffed and Volley got buffed, this is a good thing, especially for the super early leveling, this is actually very strong buffs over here, which make LMP even worthwhile for the end game instead of the GMP at this, at this point. Minion damage support nerfed, Mirage Archer support nerfed, uh, giving it less range and less damage, Onslaught nerfed for the uh, speedrunners once again. Uh, point black also nerf guys from 50 to 30 percent. This is a pretty uh, substantial nerf, I would say. Once again, there's also a new big clusters on the uh, on the skill tree called the Watchtowers. It's on the right side of the Ranger. There, it's like a big dick, a ballista node. And uh, the Ironwood cluster has moved to the south of Duelist. It's like down below there in the Duelist era. It's very hard to reach actually outside of the Scion. So uh, if you want to like mean max your amount of ballistas will be ha having a hard time going there traveling there the movement speed for minions granted by the ravenous horde cluster has been half this is big this is big it was a completely powerful knot which was gg for anointment for the minions it, you can save like eight points there to travel this is ridiculous ridiculous shit and honestly i didn't expect it to be nerfed but it is and it's like twice less effective. All right. There's also a couple of cool new notes like the shocking strikes. I already checked it. It does pretty decent amount of damage for the lightning arrow barrage build. Not a bad thing. Uh, at the same time, there's a lot of different physical damage reduction from hits uh, nodes on the tree. But unfortunately, I checked the tree and uh, they are mostly placed on a very generic nodes outside of the... Uh, like damage nodes, so you have you you really have to you really have to uh, you know um, let me put it this way like decide what you're gonna do if you're gonna do damage or you wanna penetrate more more armor or just kind of buff yourself in a different way just not the raw damage but penetration instead so it's a choice now it's not really like a direct like hey I stack damage nodes no I go instead and just penetrate more armor instead. So it's interesting choice, but I, I personally do not welcome this now, even though it's like not as obvious now as before. So the ascendancy balance, guys, is minus aggression grants 10% increased movement speed down from 30. This is an absolutely big dick nerf for all minions, you know, because they're so incredibly speedy. Like, if you look at the zombies, they're like, they're on steroids, I don't know, they're moving so incredibly fast, that's stupid guys, it's practically fucking insane how fast the minions were in the previous patch, and I'm really happy that it kind of tones down to some realistic levels, I would say. Item balance, uh, most of the boss and the van bases also got buffs, so boss in general got a buff, all the bases got more damage, attack speed, and you know, crit, and all that shit. Uh, another important thing is that one base types that I have 20% more base damage. This is also a big buff to the wands. Now we are moving into the absolutely destructive area. Nerfs everywhere. And this is probably my biggest concern towards the whole patch. 
so the crafted modifiers has been dramatically nerfed. Uh, for example, you can no longer craft plus one to maximum number of curses and body armors or unveil it in any way. Uh, you can also cannot craft elemental chaos resistance penetration weapons. And this is the your multi-mod nerf. You can also craft up to three mods on the multi-mod now instead of whatever, instead of like five or four free maximum now. There's also no hybrid defenses crafting anymore, uh, which allow you to craft a really like high ES, high armor, high life bases. Once again, all dead. Another thing uh, is that uh, basically the deck second balls, as you can see over here, they are dead too. They roll way lower now. Penetration is gone as well. Maximum mana has been lowered on helmets too. The increased attributes on the amulets can no longer roll, as well as the penetration can no longer roll on the amulets. So, all uh, increased attributes on the amulets, like becoming a legacy, like in this 12% become a leg legacy now. Non chaos is extra chaos on amulets now, grant 3 to 5 from 7 to 13. Everything goes down. Practically all Shaper Elder mods goes down and down up to absolutely impossible numbers. This is probably the biggest thing. You can no longer chance to maim or main and maim support modifiers on two-handed maces. So gone, maim, maim support gone. Physical damage and support, spell damage and support modifier can no longer roll on two-handed weapons. Another thing that is gone. Fortifies, inspirations, power charge and critical with fist damage, inspiration with spell damage. Everything fucking dead, guys. Everything fucking gone. It hurts the SRS builds, it hurts all Cyclone with fortifies, it hurts uh, minion builds with maim, like the maces with maim, it hurts earthquake, it hurts pretty much everything. Anything and everything is being devastated by this, and all the power creep goes down, boys. So the support to maim modifiers from Serrated Forces can no longer roll on body armors as well. You can't get maim anymore. Uh, pristine Fossils, fucking useless. You cannot get increased life and life modifier with Pristine Fossils anymore. Penetration with uh, also cannot be done. So yeah, just nerfs, 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 nerfs. Modifiers and crafting has been nerfed dramatically. Uh, the spell damage was increased though, uh, I don't know why, I mean, who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares at this point? A uh, Convoking Vaunts has also been nerfed. Once again, it will be very hard to get anything decent out of the Convoking Vaunts. To be honest, absolute bullshit idea because Convoking Vaunts were incredibly hard to get anything good of it. I would get like 100 of these fucking Vaunts and I never got anything decent, like maybe 2 or 3. I spent hundreds of Ks trying to roll this shit and just basically didn't really happen anything decent out of it. So I'm not sure why they made it even harder to get. Overall, uh... oh, this is an important thing. So Shaper and Elder Scarabs has been reworked. Uh, they now add Shaper and Elder Influence outcomes to the map area or grounding 30, 60, 90% more chance to find Elder Shaper rare items in the area. This is this is completely rework as well. There, there comes the buff, guys. Uh, Volley Fire is not limited to one, but it gives six additional projectiles. Asinath Chance now triggers a socketed spell when you attack with a bow. This is probably the biggest thing. Uh, previously, it had a 25% chance. Now it's guaranteed, so they cock with bows now. This is pretty insane. Here is I nerfed hard. Twice, literally halved, and uh, literally the damage has been halved. Once again, a nerf. I saw that coming. Cool rain got a buff from 40 less damage to 30, so 10% more damage. Once again, cool rain it becomes slightly unnerfed, slightly unnerfed, getting back a little bit. And shattered will damage reduction from the harbinger of focus is now multiplicative, just like the fortify has been nerfed. Thanks to uh, all these uh, runners in the delve with what is it? Still match, I think. Or oh, Dan. I think Dan ran with a shadow wheel. And yeah, thank you guys. It has been destroyed. Gamaho's Flame Modern Burst now deals 15% more damage, guys. This is also pretty cool. I did not expect this. 
Uh, I really want to see like Nagamako's Flame, Cyclone, Chieftains, whatever, will be cool. Sudden Ignition no longer drops and cannot be obtained outside of trading with other players. It now prevents Burning Arrow from applying as additional Burning Debuff. This effect changes of all versions. Sudden Ignition is Mirror now. Alright, so Voltaxic Rift changes to the Shock. Uh, boss Encounters has been way more difficult. They have way more life, way more defenses. Shit ton of armor. And definitely this, these numbers look pretty fucking scary in my opinion. But they assure us this is not that scary. Resistance has also been in increased across the board. Uh, Mastermind will now drop Scarabs while slaying. Big thing. And Safe House Outcomes will reward Scarabs. Now we have a chance to reward an additional Scarab. Good thing. Maps now have a 10% chance to contain a Val side area where you can find sacrifice fragments and Val gems. Fantastic, actually. And this is probably one of the biggest buffs for me personally. The Cortex map is now more commonly available from the Zana relative to the other Synthesis maps. And Synthesis maps can now drop as unique items. This is just fucking sick because I only saw like one or two maybe Synthesis maps as a whole. And I've never seen Cortex in the Synthesis, so... Probably now I can finally see them and fight him more often in the game because this is a part of the game that wasn't a synthesis since that it has practically has been unseen by the most players. It's very hard to see. Overall, guys, um, that's pretty much it for the patch notes. As you can see, there's some um, nerfs to the minions. There's a lot of nerfs to the crafted modifiers. A shit ton of shaper and mods has been completely uh, destroyed. As well as the boss uh, have reintroduced a lot of new skill gems. There's a layer of power creep. Uh, we also don't know what the influence will be. So we're going to be checking this out. So far, I would say I'm pretty hyped for the leak. Uh, I'll be playing Ballistas. I'm not sure about the build yet. I'm still work in progress. But yeah, definitely try Ballistas and see what they are. How shitty they will be. Once again, guys. I will put the links in the description to this document, so make sure you guys read the fucking descriptions under the videos. Really, guys, read that shit. Uh, and I will leave the link to this so you can check it out on your walk, whatever, just when you have the time. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay strong and see you soon.